What we're going to see today is a couple of interesting examples of hole alignments using this model of a nose cone from a transaxle from a 78 VW Beetle. So uh, as you can see, uh, as I'm rotating around, we have the full assembly there with all of the fasteners showing. They're actually on a layer, so I'll just go ahead and switch that layer off so we can see the holes more clearly. And then I'll begin to replace the existing nose cone with the new version of the nose cone. The new version of the nose cone is actually a SolidWorks file, so I'm just going to go ahead and insert that and then reference it uh, from my desktop, as you can see the file right here. So double-clicking on that will do the conversion into space claim format, and uh, then I just need to simply delete the existing model, uh, and we're good to go. So as we zoom in here, you'll notice there are three uh, locations where the holes are out of alignment. Uh, so what we're going to do, our exercise today, is simply to realign all of those holes. If you start out here, I'm going to just select the inner and outer cylindrical surfaces of this hole, and that'll give me a vector ball when I use the move tool or a handle that allows me to manipulate that geometry. So I can pull it translationally uh, along these uh, linear use, uh, uh, increments here. I can also rotate around as much as I like. So you can see we've got quite a powerful uh, geometric engine that we can use to manipulate the geometry there. In this case, I'll jump into section mode, and then quite simply by dragging the center of one circle till it aligns with the other, indicated by the little green ball there, you'll see that the two surfaces are aligned, and our holes are, are matched up, and as we jump back into solid out of the section mode, you can see that our holes are perfectly aligned now. Moving to our second hole, initially I'm just going to grab the internal cylindrical surface of the hole, and manipulate that, just move it around a little bit, again just playing with the movement tool, seeing how the geometry updates. Uh, then I'll use the power select tool to grab all the concentric uh, geometry and move all of that together at one time. Once I've played with that a little bit, I know how it's going to react. Uh, the next thing I'll do is just use the reference geometry below to align and snap the hole right to uh, that surface and all of the concentric geometry automatically updates for me. In the final example up here on the top right, uh, what I'm going to do this time is copy the, the same sort of uh, uh, concepts that I just used, the inner and outer surfaces, and align it to the existing geometry. But additionally, I'm going to go ahead and pull this hole, just selecting on the axis of the hole. Uh, I can pull that into a slot using the reference geometry there of that blue line, indicating a direction that I want to pull that slot in. So there's a couple of quick examples. I uh, hope you enjoy that.